Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Virgos for their highest and greatest good. All right, we've got the Ace of Pentacles as the overall energy. Your person, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Viewing you as the Nine of Swords. Five of Swords is what you don't see. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is your advice or final outcome. And we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so Virgos. Hmm. So it looks like your person, they might be coming in with an energy of lack. They might be feeling like things aren't going to work out or maybe they don't have enough. They might not be ready for a committed relationship or they might feel like they don't have enough to offer. Whether that's financially, emotionally, physically, maybe a combination thereof. This person knows that you're you're kind of on hold with them. Like or they know they have you on hold. Is that that's maybe more the way I want to say it. Your advice here is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is to focus on you. Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo. Stay high vibrational. Focus on you, your finances, your health. You've got some sort of offer coming in. Ace of Pentacles. Or something real and something tangible. Nine of Wands and the Justice card. Okay, so there could be a Libra coming in to make you some sort of offer here. Or maybe it's this person. Um, but I feel like with the Nine of Wands here, you know, this is an energy. This is the Wounded Warrior. So I can see that you've been through a lot here. Some of my Virgos, I'm just going to say it. Some of you, you're moving on from this person. Maybe you're moving on towards a Libra or it's just Karmic Justice. You've been through a lot. And you're, you're moving on to something new. Something that is going to end up in a higher level of commitment. If... You're not moving on from this person. I do see things potentially being healed. And and like I said, moving towards a higher level of commitment. But it's going to take some work with that Nine of Wands energy. Your person has an energy of lack or they're breadcrumbing you. It is possible, too, they're dealing with a few different people. Empress energy. And we get the, wow, okay. So your person, I think your person's worried about a higher level of commitment. I think they see you as the Empress, Taurus and Libra in energy. They want marriage, family, commitment, stability, moving in together. But I think this person feels like they don't have enough. Like they don't have enough money. Or they're not where they want to be. Maybe they don't have enough money for a ring. Alright. They know that you're kind of feeling stuck. Or that they're keeping you stuck with the Nine of Swords energy in reverse. New beginning. And the King of Pentacles energy in reverse. For some of you, Virgos, I feel this person's worried that you're you're going to leave them because they don't have enough to offer you. Um, for others of my Virgos, this person knows that you're going to end things with them. You're going to walk away. You're going to move in a different direction if they don't step it up, if they don't offer you more. I want you to be careful. Some of my Virgos, um, if this is somebody that you recently met, they might be married or they might be in another commitment. So if they're not, if this person's not pulling their weight or they're keeping you waiting or you feel like something's off, it is. Okay. If it's like a brand new person, because this could be that you could be dealing with a player here, but those of you where this is your person, like, and you know that they're not, like, they're not married to somebody else. This person's worried about having enough money for the wedding, for marriage, for, you know, like, to take care of you or, you know, or, yeah, they're worried that they don't have what it takes. They know that you will end things, Virgo, if they don't, they don't show up as King of Pentacles energy. And right now, a lot of my Virgos, you've kind of pulled back. I don't know if you gave this person an ultimatum or you had a fight or an argument or you told them you were going to move on. With the Five of Swords, though, I feel that, like, this person does want to fight for this. 
they're coming in with some sort of message. They're also spying on you. Yeah, they're really worried about losing this connection. They're really worried about losing this connection. They're spying on you. I feel like this person's like they see you as their, you know, they see you as their counterpart, their husband, their wife, their partner, their soulmate, even their twin flame. But they're worried. They're worried they don't have enough. Ten of Pentacles energy in reverse. Spirit's telling me, Virgo, focus on you right now. For some of you, this person has lost themselves for a little bit with that Capricorn energy and the Five of Swords. They're kind of detached. They're still keeping tabs on you, but like some of you, they've been like drinking or partying a lot. For some of you, they, I don't know, maybe took a trip. They've lost themselves for a bit. Like they might be living off their credit card or something if they took a trip. See, they want to reunite. All right. But what I'm seeing here, yeah, Six of Cups. This person does want to win you back. They want to reunite. They're worried that they're going to lose you or they have lost you. They're definitely still spying on you. They still can't stop thinking about you or this connection, but they have a lot of this energy of lack. Like they're worried it's not going to work out or they don't have enough to offer you. And for a lot of you, the Knight of Pentacles is like getting on the same page, coming in to protect this connection. They want to reunite, but they might tell you they're not ready for a higher level of commitment. And, you know, you decide, Virgo, if that's okay with you. You know, if you can, you know, get on the same page with this person and you have the same goals, but maybe, you know, things don't happen as quickly as you would like them to. Because it feels like there's a timing issue here for sure. Um, a lot of my Virgos, if this is a newer person, like this is somebody who's like keeping you waiting and they're not putting in a lot of work or it feels like imbalanced, um, you know, it feels like they might be hiding a karmic third party for some of you. And in that case, like if this is someone like brand new, and you feel like something's off and like you maybe you had like a great couple of dates or you're hanging out, but then they keep you waiting or you don't hear from them. You, you might be dealing with somebody here who's married or in another commitment. In this case, like keep your energy open, you know, extend your lighthearted energy to others, Virgo, because you definitely have a soulmate coming in, someone who's going to make you really happy, who's not coming in with an energy of lack. But for some of you, it is this person, okay? There's just like a really, there's like a small side story and I keep getting it's very specific. Like you've recently just met this person and they're acting shady or, you know, you don't like FaceTime, like they never, you know, talk to you like, you know, when they get home from work or they won't like FaceTime you or send you pictures and things like that. Trust, trust that. Okay. But for those of you where you have been dealing with this person, you know that they're not in a higher level of commitment. They, they have this energy of lack. They're worried they don't have enough, <clears throat> but they do want to heal things. All right. So let's keep going. Let's see what else we need to know for my Virgos, please. This person wants stability, marriage, commitment, Moving in together, whatever that looks like, you know, whatever higher level of commitment looks like for you. But they also know if they don't step it up, they're going to lose you. Yeah, this person wants to work on things. For some of you, they're working hard to buy a ring or they're working hard to like save up, you know, so that you guys can move in together or um, they can move towards you or that you can get married. Yeah, this person is missing you. They're unsure of the future though, but they know what they want. And we get the snake. Yeah, for some of you, there is a third party involvement here, right? And that would be for those of you where it's like, if I just keep getting that that's a newer connection. You probably hit it off really well. But again, if you feel like something's off there, trust it. Keep going. Keep moving on. Spirit's going to send you a new soulmate. But for others of my Virgos, this third party energy is just this person's energy of lack or fear that they don't have enough. And we do get twin flames. So it's a strong, strong soul connection for my Virgos out there. Mm, let's see what they want to say to you. What do my Virgos, what does this person want to say to my Virgos? Your intellect arouses me. Of course, you're a Virgo. I wish I could share my good news with you. So they want to talk. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, they are stressing that they're going to lose you. I'm not financially stable. So for a lot of you, this is that third party. That's that energy of lack I'm picking up on. So it feels like, you know, if you guys could get on the same page or make a plan um, that makes sense for both of you, things could absolutely work out. Um, but they might be, they might not want to tell you that, right? Because I do think they're worried about losing you. Um, all right. So Dark Knight of the Soul. This is a powerful and uncomfortable evaluation of your life, your purpose, your relationships, 
and begins the unveiling of the new you, but I kind of feel like your person's been going through the dark night of the soul, Virgo, not so much you, although possibly, you know, it, it could be you too, but old patterns, one cannot evolve if choices around old, comfortable, but destructive habits remain. It's time to evaluate those choices. Some of my Virgos, you want this person to step up, like if they're partying still or they're like kind of acting like they've got Peter Pan syndrome or, you know, they're like still living with a bunch of people and like you're ready to move in together. For some of you, that's the scenario, right? But it's time to evaluate choices. It's time to switch up old patterns. The situation or relationship you're in is about to shift in powerful ways. So for a lot of my Virgos, it is happening. And uh, yeah, what are you being prompted to change? Evaluate your life path and your life's purpose. Something fulfilling awaits you. Yeah, for some of my Virgos, I mean, you're, you're changing this situation, right? If they're not going to put in the effort, you're closing it out. You're moving in a different direction. This is definitely going to cause a dark night of the soul for this person. But I see you being happy in the future. I see a soulmate that's going to make you happy where you where it's balanced, it's stable, you know, coming towards you. And for some of you, it is with this person because they do not want to lose you. Let's see what else spirit wants my Virgos to know. What else do my Virgos need to know? Yeah, some distance will help bring clarity. So some of you, you're in a, in a timeout. One person is giving too much in the relationship. Some of my Virgos, you felt like that was you. You need this person or you want this person to step up. You already know everything you need to know. Trust your intuition about whether or not this person can give you everything you're looking for. Because for some of you, I feel like it's a hard yes, right? And for others of my Virgos, you're like, mm, no, <laughs> right? Do you guys, I feel like you already know Virgo. I feel like you already know. A lot of you, finances are a bigger deal than you realize for this person, okay? So I'm going to leave it here, Virgo. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Virgos. Take care.